guys welcome to another commentary done by diggity up right in corner we have artosis starting as the yellow turn bottom left hand corner we have raz starting as red raz starting as the red protoss which is very convenient this is on polypoid should be an interesting one artosis is usually one of those more conservative terran honor terran where he just sometimes he'll play for timings level two weapons level one uh timing attacks sometimes he'll usually more in ladder scenarios so mix up uh, and throw in some really aggressive two gate or something along those lines against 12 nexus particularly at cross scout spawn which might have an opportunity here for raz he'll go in with marine rushes with the bunkers and things like that but otherwise he's going to stick in his base and try to repel attacks coming at him and macro up raz as we've seen has been playing more of that early Reaver play recently, and I'm wondering if he's going to get aggressive with Reavers this time. Mostly because stereotypically when I've seen him play Reaver, it's almost like one gate Reaver into uh, from there, sometimes two gate, but as rapid three Nexus as possible, and then using Reavers more defensively for troop control, picking off vultures and trying to pin your, his Terran opponent into the base. Looks like he's going for a gateway opener, so we're not going to see a 12 Nexus this time. We have a Supply Depot alongside the Command Center here, so you can sneak the Marines back and forth. One thing is, is at cross-map spawns, like we've got here, might end up favoring Artosis a little bit more, particularly in the early stages of the game, if Raz is planning on getting any form of aggressive, because it just takes a long time to get troops out that direction. But at the later stage of the game, Potentially, when it's the time to go with the two level two weapons attack, it might end up moving back to Raz's favor if he can keep up in macro, because there'll be multiple angles. You got to string that army out. There'll be multiple angles to attack from potentially. Eh, probe. Not sure if I want to stand by that statement, but I'm going to make it anyway because it's kind of a thought. Because you know, if you're going like this way, you don't have to worry about your right flank as much. You know, when you're going this way, you got to worry about attacks from both sides. As I am pointing out things in the mini map. Probe checking top left first. Looks like both players are going to go for a clockwise scout, so they're going to both uh, both players are going to come across each other's bases. Second, first marine being produced. The supply depot alongside to uh, have that protective concavity. Looks like no zealot in production. Seven X core first. I kind of like that play overall. And the factory already on the way before Raz is even able to get his probe. I'm in here. Let's see if this probe is actually able to do a little bit of harassment. Actually, probably not. It's got second or two before that first marine is spawning so yeah gonna get attack of damage done on that scv before it needs to get out of dodge sees the factory so it's got to assume that okay yeah there's some additional uh gas behind this no range sorry weapons one upgrade so fake out on the range so trying to show artosis that yeah yeah, yeah i'm just going dragoon range let's see if artosis backs out with this scv but let's once this Dragoon's in place to go ahead and box that SCV out and just hold this position. Well, is he going to chase it down? No, just going to hold at the natural expansion. Going to cancel that, grab his Nexus instead. And I'm curious if we're going to see a rapid follow-up to robotics facility. So a uh, quick s sweep out that direction. Marines pushing that probe away, which suggests we're going to see a command center after Vulture. So very standard stuff. As far as the level of play, I like that Artosis has moved that SCV out to the 9 o'clock location just to prepare for that quick 3 base take, because Protoss more often than not do want that third gas. Dragoon holding location, I don't think it's going to be sufficient to stop that SCV from yeah, scouting that Nexus, but this is going to be the other critical bit. It's not going to be fast enough to stop that SCV from wandering up and discovering that robotics facility as well. So huge mistake on for Raz on a couple points is he's just not able to stop that scout, so now Artosis knows that it's going to be earlier Reaver and should be prepared. Going for mine research here is actually just going to back that vulture out. What if he's just going to plant a mine here, plant a mine at the nine o'clock and call it a day. Nexus going to be further ahead of Artosis, but not in a game ending manner. Four Marines in that bunker. Artosis is going to have to play economic catch up, but he's dropping that armory here to cycle that plus one weapons. And actually with this, I'm curious if he's... I'll, I'll, be, I'll be interested to see if he does go for cross-map position, mech push. Because he's dropping it uh, sub-five minutes to get that upgrade out there. Anyway, second gateway online. Now we see Dragoon range proper. 
second gateway warping, and we don't see any, unless I am trying to remember what the, that's the hotkey. Nope, it's not hidden back there. We're going to see the observatory rather than Reaver. So I think since it's been spotted, he's hoping that Artosis will overcommit to Reaver defense. Although I don't even see an engineering bay out yet. So maybe hoping he was going to overcommit to Reaver defense, and instead he's going for Observer first to go ahead and clear mines out. So both players in more of a passive long-term economic stance. Second factory is being added on. And Command Center just about finished. Dragoon wandering up. Going to chase down that vulture. Needs to be very careful that doesn't... Wow, just... Nope, there it is. Loses the Dragoon at the 9 o'clock, and the vulture survives with 5 health left. A little bit greedy, especially considering the observer is not that... I feel like that's a bit of a mistake right there. Getting overly aggressive with that uh, Dragoon. They're able to wipe that out at the 9 o'clock. Which suggests that this is... Yeah, the probe actually wandering in. Suggests that Raz was going to go for more 3 base plane as trying to push that more rapidly. You have a vulture alongside, but it is not going to be in time. Well, it could have been in time, but it looks like it's just holding short. Observer out on the field to go ahead and allow that Dragoon to do some mine clears. But what the vulture can do as a follow-up... Oh, is he going to shoot the gap? No. What he can do is, is maybe push up after this and confirm that that base is, in fact, at the 9 o'clock location as far as a 3-hatch play, or 3-hatch, three 3-nexus three play. Siege tech being upgraded, two siege tanks on the front, barracks switching position. Might go out for some forward scouting, second gas up for Atosis. Plus one weapons, about halfway finished. But yeah, he skipped anti, so he, okay, he did get a Goliath out here. So he did build the Goliath to protect, uh, potentially respect shuttle play, but I was gonna say we're maybe not seeing a Reaver, but here that Reaver gonna be produced with uh, that shuttle, though there's speed up being upgraded. For a second, I was going to say no speed upgrade, but there's a speed upgrade now. Like the barracks floating out near that third. This is one thing on Polypoid, is, is, and this is where I've seen Raz actually have a lot of success on this map in the past, is actually getting a big lot of going more gateway man and creating some frustration around this base, which is uh, usually what Terran want to take as their quick third command center. Um, We'll see if Artosis wants to play that way. Dropping a starport now, I think that's to get plus two weapons with the timing, getting his academy as well. He's very much in the dark. Doesn't have nearly any information. This Reaver drop is coming really late, uh, much later than your stereotypical. Usually Protoss are trying to get in there as quickly, as, as rapidly as possible. Two additional gateways being dropped, Citadel of Adun as well. Probes making their way to the north, and that Vulture just really lazy, taking some photon fire to the face, able to get a pro kill, but really missing an opportunity right there. Shuttle making its way around. Now they're, yeah, turret. Now, as I was saying, like the timing's off for things like that. Artos is actually able to get the shuttle at the exact right moment, like the precise moment as it's entering the base. So good time, good on him. Four factory now, dropping a comps at him, thinking he wanted to take a look at the gateway count. Templar archives, being dropped alongside this. Be interesting to see some Dark Templar. Observer right there to see the four factories. That does put Artosis in a situation where he can play either direction, basically. Level two weapons looks... I think he's going to go for that level two weapons, level one armor. Push, though, based on everything I've seen thus far. This mine's still there. It hasn't been spotted. And Raz actually going to go ahead... So, decent supply lead, but going to go ahead and grab a fourth Nexus rapidly, assuming that Artosis is playing for an additional nex or an actual additional command center. In fact, he is. There's the command center. And I think this... I'm wondering if this is just Raz uh, knowing Artosis and playing that way. Artosis respecting potential DT play, putting turrets out on the front. Those mines still hanging out there. Two Reavers in the shuttle. Starting to scooch out on the map. We do have that blockade to the north to prevent any additional... Uh, vultures, which could be an issue now that there's four factories up, but instead Goliath range being upgraded, and it looks like Artosis does want to play towards more of the 200-200 mark off that three Nexus. Reavers... So Raz looks like he wants to try to harass and slow down that third with Reavers. Also able to clear mines back here, uh, and just pure Reaver, which is going to be a challenge against four siege tanks a handful of other troops, and some Goliaths with the Charm Booster upgrade and plus one weapons upgraded. So that shuttle needs to be somewhat wary. It's already taken a bit of damage. 
from that turret earlier, but that fourth base coming online, and it doesn't look like Artosis is making any movements to get aggressive. So just going to be a flat macro war. Raz not in a bad position to win that over the long term, and it looks like he wants to go ahead. So this this feels a little bit greedy, though. So he still only has four gateways. He's adding a fifth and a sixth. He really needs to pump up to nine, in my opinion, off what he's got. Instead, he's going to grab a Nexus top left, it looks like, to try to play the economic long game. But I think he... Although he does have a supply lead, so maybe ignore me overall. So 26 supply lead is in a pretty good position there. Second shuttle with some high Templar and some Zealots moving that way. The Reaver is being, yeah, evicted as that command center is coming online. And I think Raz, once again, going to try to play that double Reaver style where, okay, you got the shuttle to the north and the shuttle along the opposite edge to maybe suicide some High Templar in, get a good storm drop, might catch Artosis off guard as he is moving now to go ahead and claim his third base. It's been three bases versus four for quite some time. Raz actually grabbing the bottom right as well. I'm not sure that this drop is necessary considering the economic lead he's got. Great drop though, beautiful storm. Obliterating that natural expansion. Artosis now down to 49 workers. Just an observer holding there. I was wondering if the drop was coming right back around. So the shuttle gets wiped out finally, but not before it's striking a lot of damage. Now, Raz has a very solid lead, but we got seven factories here, and he's still sitting at not a lot of gateways, comparatively. He is getting a starport, but considering the amount of bases he's got, I'm hoping to see a big surge in gateways to keep up with Artosis's troop output, particularly as level 2 weapons is finished and level 1 weapons is now online. Vulture wandering out, it's going to be able to find that probe top left. Looks like a refugee style potential for Raz because he's starting to stage up in the bottom right. That's getting spotted by a vulture and cleared out. Another shuttle moving out with more High Templar as Artosis is looking to take 3 o'clock base. He's behind overall thus far, but Raz keeps, so he's got the shuttle pocketed here and the shuttle pocketed here. Not much to assault here, and the Goliaths were right there waiting for him. They didn't even need to move. Dropping a storm before there was even resaturation there. Now the Reavers moving in, but wow, a lot of turrets in the way. Yeah, just back out, Raz. You've already done the damage you needed to. Might be able to get something done at the third, but Goliaths are waiting for him there as well. That, yeah, didn't have enough health, so loses all of that threat on the front. Some cannons in the meantime. Able to thwart that vulture in the bottom right-hand corner, but... As things stand, Raz is sitting on five bases versus Artosis' is three. But again, production-wise, uh, just now adding an additional gateway. Did tech up to Stargate and doesn't have the... I mean, he's floating a lot of minerals here, as you can see. He just doesn't have the macro to stop Artosis from evening up the overall supply count. Another shuttle moving out with a High Templar. Did I miss a storm? I think I missed a storm that obliterated... So right now, Raz has a huge economic lead. Missed a storm here that obliterated a lot of those supply lines, but he needs to capitalize on it by getting some additional gateways down and just fielding some troops. And I don't feel like that's happening as Artosa is still within the 10 supply count range. He's got that level 2 weapons, level 1 armor, and it looks like he is going to be able to crush this bottom right. Dragoon's making the way across. Not the best observer discipline, so it looks like the Dragoon's going to get wiped out along the way. That all being said, Raz is in a fantastic position as we're moving into the late stages of this match. However, he does need to stop Artosis when he decides to move out and start taking out some of these, uh, and the vultures alone might be able to take this Nexus out. Yeah, with all the delays, with the mines in between. Yeah, really frustrating him thus far. Yeah, they're going to be able to take that Nexus out bottom right. So now back down to four versus three. A Dark Templar, an emergency Dark Templar trying to be produced bottom right. The Dragoon's still holding up short. More Dragoons moving out mid-map. And this Stargate has been silent this entire time. Ugh, that's unfortunate because Raz in the red right here. Nearing 200 supply. And I'm wondering if he was planning, grabbing it looks like that mineral only. I don't see a lot of Arbiters, a lot of shuttles out. He had the shuttles earlier, but lost a lot of them. He's still going out with shuttles. This is where I would feel like they would be better served grouped up with the primary army. Another drop of the natural expansion just to catch two SCVs. I don't... Yeah, this isn't going to be a favorable trade overall. Artos is building another command center to float out to the 3 o'clock. 
um, and I'm actually a little bit shocked that Artosis had, didn't have that saturated back, maybe anticipating the constant drops right there. Bottom right cleaned up. The gateway is unpowered, however, and the Nexus remains collapsed. Zealots and Dragoons grouping up mid-map. Now this looks like a formidable army. Now this is pod racing. Observer, sorry, Observer. Probe making its way bottom right. Vulture is just patrolling top left. Yet another shuttle making its way across, dropping the both get wiped out before they're really able to punch Artosis' economy there. Main starting to thin out, so it is going to be two bases, so Artosis really does need to start t thinking about taking that third. Raz in a great spot now, because he's got a lot of holdings. He's taking a lot of additional holdings. Artosis maybe needs to think about just defending with what he's got, and that's going to allow Raz to continue to tech up, continue to grab additional bases. Looks like the probe got wiped out bottom right. A handful of troops, although Raz not peeling off just a couple Dragoons would be able to deal with that, but it looks like he's not going to dedicate the resources. Instead, playing very, very passively. Now we have a few High Templar on the front. Feels like a lot of High Templar got expended in those shuttles, diving on Artosis' main. Observers picked off. This is now a 200 supply army of mech for Artosis. There's the shuttles on the front that I was looking for. Only two of them, though. Uh, so Raz is going to have to be there with the micromanagement be really, really precise with this storm. Splitting the army, this is what I was talking about earlier, splitting that army into two groupings so we can maybe go for a pincer collap collapse attack if it goes across the middle. Vultures are swinging to the south. It looks like they are aware of this mineral only and they might want to stage an attack there. L good minefields in between. Raz doing a pretty good job of clearing out the mines to the north, only losing a Dragoon for a little bit of territorial, uh, territorial control there. Observer, sorry, pro I have to keep doing that. Probes making their way to the mineral only. Vultures pushing the Dragoons back mid-map. And now Artosis needs to start making some moves. He's been sitting on 50 works forever. He hasn't, he built the command center, but hasn't grabbed this third. Hasn't grabbed the 12 o'clock either. He's got a Goliath sitting there. He's sitting at 200 supply, but uh, is economically behind overall. Dragoon finally taking out that Vulture bottom right. The Observer... Observer able at that time saying it right. The observer able to help clear those mines there. Vulture starting to press forward. And yeah, now Artos is doing that lengthy mech attack mid-map. Raz, however, in a concentrated ball to greet it instead of having to spread. Good size storm to stop and up the vultures on the front. And this is a very bunched up army. Unfortunately, the size storm, I guess he's not quite in range to drop the size storms where he wants to. It's kind of the advantage of having the shuttles is being able to bomb them. But look how bunched up these troops are if he can get the side storms off. Wow, there it is, all over the tanks to the north. However, this is still a lot of mech. Artos is all of a sudden with the supply lead. Raz needs to macro up, do a turnaround macro up pretty rapidly. Unfortunately, just the way the timing worked out, he ended up coming up with, with a direct ball rather than a two-pronged pincer. Vulture gonna make its way top left. There are gateways warping in, but no cannon. And Artosis now starting to spread out to wipe out some of Raz's bases. Does have that three o'clock up and running now. Hasn't, this is, uh, Artosis sometimes misses that gas. Needs to grab that gas to keep his uh, gas to mineral ratio solid. So Raz certainly gonna lose this mineral only. Has tacked on a lot of additional gateways, it looks like. And is now switched to triple Stargate to go to a battle cruiser response. But with that response, because it is so slow, he very likely will end up losing top left and the 9 o'clock location. Counterattacking to draw these troops back. Zealots shuttled up to the high ground. That is forcing Artosis to lift this up, and that was a critical mining base for Artosis. His natural expansion is mining a little bit longer because of all that harassment that happened earlier and just because he didn't saturate it. But uh, he is down to two mining bases. He's going to try to grab that 12 o'clock location as well. Rez has the bottom right, but and he's grabbing the the mineral only there, but doesn't yet have them saturated. All of a sudden behind in supply, but at the very least able to disrupt the three o'clock, so a little bit tit for tat there. And that might buy time for these carriers to come online and be in effect. I don't like carry I prefer arbiters on this map simply because it is so large and open, uh, particularly across the middle. We're off we're particularly playing at cross map position, that's where you gotta encounter you're going to encounter most of Artosis' troops across the middle of the map, so I don't know that there's going to be a lot of places where those carriers can abuse or hide across high ground artifacts in order to be as effective as they might be comparative to other maps. 
Cannons being warped in at the natural expansion. A little bit of distance mining happening there. Some probes being built on site. High Templar joining the fray there. It looks like Raz is getting back towards the 200-man army, but this is now Gateway Man. Without Arbiter, support, uh, without Arbiter support, doesn't look like he has a lot of shuttles joining this army as well, which means if he's... Well, there's one shuttle top left. Which means if he's engaging in a lot of these attacks, he's going to have to engage it mostly heads up, which is kind of scary. Dark Templar... Engaging somewhere around here. I can't, I'm can't. i not even sure where. Level 3 weapons, level 1 armor here. Dragoons trying to box things out and flood of vultures down here. High Templar waiting doesn't yet have Psy Storm. A drop at the 12 o'clock location, creating disruption there. It looks like not able to get a Psy Storm off. Not sure it's going to matter. Because all of Artosis' mech now just pushing down and obliterating bottom right. So did that High Templar? High Templar managed three kills off of Psy Storm latently there. But these are... Active mining bases for Raz. They're going to get wiped out. So going to lose the natural, going to lose the main here. Doesn't look like he's got a lot of response with army. So now he's down to the mineral only, his natural expansion, which is getting a little bit thin in the 9 o'clock. While Artosis is taking additional territory, it looks like he is going to be able to take out the High Templar and that shuttle at the 12 o'clock uh, position, still holding that, and he's been able to reestablish the 3 o'clock. So Artosis now has swung it around. He's back in an economic lead. Raz down 50 supply. An emergency Dark Templar being produced. See if that's uh, what that's able to sweep up. A Desperation Nexus now being grabbed from Raz at the mineral only in top left, but Artosa swinging a lot of units, including a battle SCV. Yeah, battle SCVs. So he can immediately... He doesn't even need... Uh, honestly, he doesn't have to dedicate a lot of troops to engage this. The carrier fleet's out. So that might have caught Artosis off guard. Let's see if he does his favorite thing and starts producing a lot of Wraith, though. So no, it looks like he's going to go for the Goliath option. So did spot that, so he's got some Goliath on board. I don't... High Templar dropping some size storm to clear out a couple of those vultures, but I don't know that these carriers... They're going to be able to push Artosis back briefly. Still a 40 supply deficit. He does have a, a six count. Let's see if I can... So, like, just one. Plus one weapons and plus one armor is there, but with level three weapons, those Goliaths are going to have a superior tactical advantage, and they are starting to mar march out in the field, and as soon as they join the fray, and this is what I was talking about, it's... So, here's the artifact of the north, but it just... There's just not enough map garbage, is what I want to call it. Not enough map garbage in the middle to really make these carriers as effective as I think they would be otherwise. Vultures... Swinging back to the south, making sure that 6 o'clock is down. Yeah, so Raz is effectively mining at three bases. Artosis is mining at three bases and honestly has some bonus territory he can take. The carrier is trying to go in and stymie his economy. Actually, with all the bases getting wiped out, Artosis has taken the worker count lead. Desperation turrets being built. Goliath's moving up. So this might, almost like a chess maneuver, might pin some Goliaths and other troops to the north. Level 2 weapons is online, which will make those interceptors, and level 2 armor as well, which will make those interceptors a little bit more frustrating for these Goliaths to deal with. However, there's still, yeah, there's a bunch of Goliaths to the north, and there's still a lot of mech that can get sent elsewhere in between. Speaking of which, Vulture is sweeping across. The, I'm, wow, Nexus must have just gotten dropped and ignored there. Dragoon's getting wiped out with mines. Some Zealots trying to go ahead and do some mine clearing. They're going to lose their lives along the way. And unfortunately, Raz, yeah... Minerals looking very, very light at all locations. Nine o'clock is just about mined out. Drawing his carriers back, because it looks like he wasn't able to get anything accomplished. There's too many Goliaths. Supply counts are even here, which gives Artosis the advantage. Still mining happily at the three o'clock. Doesn't even really need to take an additional base at this stage. Just needs to, yeah, hunt these carriers down. Six, seventh, so that's gonna be eight carriers out on the field. A lot of Goliaths nearby. So Rad's going to have to rely on that for both offense and defense moving forward. And the Siege Tanks and Goliaths now grouping up and staging together. Six o'clock base is barely up. 30 health left. Can get sneezed on, basically, and it will get wiped out. Carriers engaging, trying to engage those Siege Tanks to the right. The other problem with Carriers is they're costly. That the Interceptors cost money. And then if they're getting wiped out by Goliaths out on the field, yeah, you got to replenish them. And if you don't have the minerals to do so in the late game, just forget about it. 
shuttle swinging its way around might be able to drop a tactical side storm on the siege tank line. Goliath just holding short to deal with the interceptor while the siege tanks just plow through that nexus. Raz trying to target down. It looks like the Goliath force moving in some high Templar, etc., to try to repel this attack force. But, uh, well, the nexus actually hasn't been targeted, so it looks like Raz might be able to at least at least halt this wave. And as I say that, the Nexus continues to get assaulted, and never mind, it's going to get obliterated. It's gone. So one more Nexus down. This Nexus I don't think is going to be very long for life. Honestly, some rogue Goliaths could just end up getting confused, as they often do, and wander that direction, maybe take it out. Psystorm catching some Interceptors, but also wiping out some Goliaths as well. Artosis needs to regroup. The Sea Shank swinging around. Let's see if they make a shot at the 6 o'clock. The carriers need to, yeah, go for a cutoff maneuver. Only two siege tanks. They don't even need to siege. Yeah, that's all that was required. Three shots from those tanks. Nice play there by Artosis, recognizing that it just did not have a lot of health left. Nine o'clock's gone. Natural expansion's gone. Mineral only does no longer has a nexus. So it's a distance mining all the way around for Raz. Artosis has been mining at the 12 o'clock. You can see the mineral count all of a sudden plummeting. And the carriers, yeah, it's going to be up to the carriers to make it happen now. A command center floating to the bottom right, very bravely. Looks like that 3 o'clock is going to get disrupted by Raz. I'm curious how long it's going to last. Siege tank's being repaired back at home base. Also looking for, yeah, there's the Wraith. Wraith being grouped up, and unfortunately there are no observers. I see zero observers out on the field. So maybe some Psystorm would be able to would be able to help here. But aside from that, those carriers are going to be very, very vulnerable to that uh, Wraith counterattack. And it looks like it's going to be three port Wraith on top of everything else. And as soon as those carriers are out of the way, that should be it. Command Center waiting in that bottom right-hand corner. Nexus being rebuilt six o'clock. A couple siege tanks wiping out probes as they were doing this. Well, still going to wipe out probes as they're distance mining. Carrier's going to make their way back. Nice distractionary delay attacks. Full control group of carriers now. But the Wraith, feet, uh, the Wraith fleet grows. Say that three times fast. And again, the robotics facility remains silent. I'm trying to see if there... That's a Dark Templar. There's an observer. We got one observer at the 6 o'clock location. Way away from this carrier fleet. And I don't see any other observer out in the field. It actually might be a bonus that Raz has this observer... Oh, now, now he's got it. Now he's moving it up to the the rest of the carrier armada one pro oh and maybe in the nick of time this might end up working out for him so comps so artosis comps heading looking for the observer not finding it so he's not going to be able to pick it off carrier is getting brutalized in the meantime and the goliath swarming and able to get a cutoff angle as well so that is a rapid death for multiple carriers cutting the fleet in half, and the Observer's still trailing, trying to get there. At least there's a cannon now, so that the Wraith have to back out. But yeah, I think that is going to be the nail in the coffin. Raz with a very crippled, two very crippled carriers, a handful remaining otherwise. Looks like I missed some disruption at the 3 o'clock, because the command center got lifted off and some SCVs are mining there now. But Raz down 40 supply, and is only mining, well, he's mining at the 6 o'clock, but Artosa still has the overall theoretical, conceptual, economic lead. And so should be able to close this out without too much additional trouble. The Wraith again re-engaging, able to pick off those last two carriers summarily. Don't, most of them not even bothering to cloak, do eat some Psy Storm. I don't know why that is so satisfying, but it is. The Goliaths piling in. There are Dragoons and a High Templar there to provide some support, but there's also Siege Shanks there to support for Artosis. Waiting for Artosis to go ahead and grab the bases in the upper left. A Zealot suiciding into nothing but turrets here. So might be able to get a good amount of disruption there. Wraith eating some more Psy Storm as the Goliaths press in. Take that turret. Actually, if that moves up to the SCV line, that might be able to swing this game right back around. Although Raz is short on probes. Sitting at the 19 worker count. This Zealot is going to be a menace in a second here. More troops grouping up. I'm looking for... A okay, two R splitting off to go ahead and deal with that Zelt to the north as it's engaging that SCV line. So that should be it for, for him. All of Raz's troops currently 
gathering and trying to hold that six o'clock base. Resources in the bank are actually even. Artosis has way more workers. However, he's down to just the two bases. Still puts him in a better economic position than Raz. And also, he's kind of encircling and closing a lot of these bases. Ooh, is that High Templar going to get picked off before it's even able... Yes, before it's even able to drop a storm. So I'm looking for Artosis to... He's built the command center. I'm looking for him to float that top left and grab that base for himself. Some vultures sweeping thin. Ooh, getting some very expensive gas units. The carrier is once again moving out. One of them very, very low on health. Archon getting wiped out mid-map. Looking for where the Goliath troopings are. It looks like there are a handful of them here and there. Artos is retreating with a lot of his units all the way back. Does have some siege tanks that are back to the south, and with those carriers not in support, they're going to get wiped out. So Goliath just walking right underneath. Yeah, to go ahead and get the base fire on the carriers while some High Templar trying to... Well, it looks like the High Templar were able to storm the tanks with everything else, but there's a lot of Goliaths remaining to storm the 6 o'clock, so it is too late. That will be it. Artosis takes the match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.